Today at the National Press Club, broadcaster Alan Jones. Thank you, Mark. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm simply talking about our land that has fed the Australian people for the past 200 years. And without seeking permission from the Australian community at either an election or a referendum, our politicians are turning some of our best land into a quarry and a worthless lunar moonscape. May I say this firstly? I come from the land in Western Queensland, yet no matter where I go in the bush, salt is the elephant in the room. There is a saying, when the light appears, the birds begin to sing. When the truth starts to come out, people find the courage to talk. The state and federal governments have conspired to remove our rights over the ownership of our land. It's Gondawindi to Dubbo, taking in Moree, Walgut, Narrabri, Gunnedah, Tamworth, Corindai, Scone, Coonabarabran, Canamble and Gulgong, they're all there. I have seen elderly farmers pushed off their farms by New Hope Coal and paid so little for their land that they're forced to live out their lives as paupers. There are children living in coal seam gas regions who have constant headaches, nosebleeds and rashes. I've met them. When Michael Caton argued in the movie The Castle that a man's home was his castle, we thought it was funny and it was a joke. It was a comedy. Now it's reality. The Hunter Valley is like a crater of the moon. And I challenge television stations, take your helicopter across and take some photos. And this is depressing. This is the new Australia. Hodgson Vale's not far from Toowoomba, R.M. Williams country. He donated the property to the people of the community, his homestead, just up the hill from Hodgson Vale. He loved to sit on the veranda and watch young men play polo. In agricultural Australia today, there is pressure on farmers leading to suicide. No one wants to be, and they just simply say, I'm going down the back to fix the fence. And they don't come back, they can't handle it. All walks of life in rural communities are ready to mobilise. And they've been working together for months. And they form friendships based on a mutual respect for the land. And those friendships will stand the test of time. And they're fighting government that has no respect for our people, our public health, our water security or our food security. They're fighting against companies that are multinational. And they're fighting because they've been sold out by government and by politicians. Well, the fight back has begun. May I just say to you, this is, to me, the biggest issue facing this country. On the Sunday I visited the district, the place was silent. Colliery number two was an underground coal mine. My father worked there in the drought, underground. It's heritage listed. New Hope intend to destroy it. They'll be fined about a million dollars. So what? We are talking about public health. Now, I could go on forever documenting what that means to the people in the Hunter Valley. Gunnedah is a metaphor for Australia. Casino is a metaphor for Australia. Vocabulary is inadequate to describe what you see and hear if you go to these places. I've heard your point, but I've got something to say. BTEX. This, this is a national issue. I welcome the chance, but the story is not yet finished, if you don't mind. Sure you don't. Ask any farmer, any scientist, any ordinary suburban gardener what salt will do to their soil and they'll tell you. Let me tell you today, farmers are at war and they feel they may as well declare it. If this isn't a major issue facing this country, and if this isn't something that galvanises all Australians, including the media and politicians, then I'm simply saying Australia is in for a hell of a lot of trouble down the track. Thanks.